Hey there, lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and welcome to another PS Viewer News Updates. This one has kind of a continuation on from Resident Evil a little bit, as well as some exciting news about a potential game coming from id software but before we jump into that if i could ask you to just maybe like subscribe comment any of that stuff if you enjoy the video that would be a big help without further ado let's jump right into it so first things first let's talk about resident evil so some of you may know this guy beside me this twitter user dusk Gollum. this guy is a known insider when it comes to capcom specifically resident evil i don't know how but this guy has connections and he gets all kinds of details. We knew Resident Evil Village was going to be called Village before it was even announced as being called Village. Thanks to this guy leaking this kind of information. As well as the fact that it was going to be first person. It was going to be in a snowy environment. It was going to have castles. It was going to have like a witch lady in us who turns out to be like a vampire or witch or whatever. The point is this guy is pretty consistent he's a good track record so if he says something you should probably maybe listen so he was asked by patrick klepek what about the vr mode is it going to come to resident evil ace and his answer was this first of all it was pretty surprising but anyway he wasn't sure about the stays of vr currently but that it was in at some stage so that's kind of given us a little bit of hope he says it needs to maintain a steady consistent performance level to combat motion sickness so maybe if there's issues with that that's maybe why we won't see vr if it turns out we will not see vr in resident evil 8 but he goes on to say that there is other stuff that is definitely happening that capcom never mentioned in their showcase that took place a couple of days ago including a next generation patch or updates for resident evil 7 so even if we don't get resident evil 8 for PS VR, which is kind of looking likely at this stage, there is still hope that we might get something in the form of this Resident Evil 7 patch for PS5. So those of us with PS5s, those of us lucky enough to have PS5s that is, could perhaps benefit from the extra horsepower thanks to this update. Now he doesn't say for sure if it's going to be a free update or whatever. Uh, but there is a chance it will improve the quality of the PS VR version, similarly to how Blood and Truth on PS5 runs better. It takes advantage of that horsepower. Of course, it is entirely possible that this next gen patch, even if it does happen, if it is 100% true, will like forego any VR support or any VR improvements whatsoever. It could just focus entirely on flat gaming. That's kind of possible too, especially if Capcom are kind of turning their backs on virtual reality. That would be very sad. But it's something to potentially look forward to, or at least keep an eye on. And, you know, if you're interested in Resident Evil 7 or, you know, PSVR in general. And, of course, you probably are if you're watching this video. So do keep an eye out for that. Who knows when it will drop, if it will drop at all. Uh, it's kind of interesting that it wasn't shown at the showcase. Maybe that means it's maybe far away at the end of the year, maybe even next year or something like that. Maybe that's why they didn't want to announce it too soon. But enough about that right now. Let's talk about our next story, which is all about id Software. Now, id Software, part of Bethesda. Bethesda bought by Microsoft. So, you know, there's a lot of mm, questions being raised by all of this. But let's talk about Project 2021A which was revealed on an Australian certification website. And this game, not very little is said about this, but there are some details, very important details to us. Namely, it's a virtual reality game. So id Software are working on a virtual reality game being published by Bethesda, and it has some details such as the following. It's rated 18 plus, it has high impact violence and online connectivity. So what could this be? It could be a lot of things. Maybe one of the most obvious choices would be a Doom VFR 2 or Doom Eternal VFR or something along those lines, because we do know they have a history with making a Doom VR game. Uh, so maybe that's something Bethesda want to revisit. But there are so many IPs there that they could have access to, like, you know, Rage, Wolfenstein, stuff like that. There's a, bit, a load, a lot of potential. Could be a brand new IP as well. It is worth noting, of course, there is no guarantee that even if this is a thing and if it does come to fruition, that we will ever get it on PSVR. Maybe not even PSVR 1 anyway, maybe PSVR 2, if we're lucky and such a thing actually happens. This game got its classification on the 22nd of January, so that might give us some kind of a time window as when we can expect 
to maybe see it or you know have it released or whatever it might not be too far away considering it's already been raised so we will have to keep our ears to the ground on that let me know in the comments down below what you think this could be or what you would want this to be if you're someone who's played bf or one and want to play a sequel to that or if you're someone who'd love to see them do something brand new maybe you're even one of the people who loved you know wolfenstein cyber pilots someone has to out there i'm sure maybe you want to see a sequel to that let me know down below and with that i will end this video thank you very much for watching lads and ladies before i go let me thank my patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as we speak thanks to their continuous generosity they're helping keep this channel nice and moist in particular following top tier patreon supporters daniel the pumpkin patch kid columbus thomas the third tradition chop 517 pete hawkins and crumb Thank you very much for that exceptional generosity and all that support really is appreciated. If you'd like to help out in the Patreon, the link will be in the description below. It is patreon.com forward slash petrifying pumpkins. If not, I will appreciate the likes, the comments, discussion, engagement, all that usual YouTube shite that helps the algorithms and whatnot. Finally, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. Thank you very much for that. And you can find him in the description as well, decepticon.com. You can listen to him on Spotify, Bandcamp, all the usual places you listen to your music. With that, that said, I will end this video. I'll see you in the next one, lads and ladies. Please stay moist.